When creating an App Store Connect API key, uh, log in to App Store Connect and I recommend you do it uh, via desktop uh, web view because uh, I noticed the uh, mobile web view is uh, kind of buggy. I reported the issue to Apple, so let's see if they fix it. The issue is that uh, the last step that I'll show you is not interactable, the table is not interactable and uh, I can't download the necessary keys I need for the API to work. To create an API key, go to Users and Access, Integrations, and uh, then generate a new key. Name it something, test GitHub maybe. If you need it for the CI, you only need the App Manager permission. By CI, I mean continuous integration. And uh, click on Generate. And this is the key you need. You need exactly three properties, the private key, the key ID, and the issuer ID right here. And those are the three keys needed to generate a JVT token, JSON Web token, needed uh, for authorization with uh, App Store Connect API uh, endpoints. And uh, next I'll show you an example of how you can use your just created key and uh, create a JVT token and for example uh, list all of the apps that you have in your account. Creating a token, remember I mentioned you need uh, exactly three properties. This is always the same, it's a constant, it's an UUID that's on top of the active keys table. And uh, this is changeable. This is what we just created. Private key file and key ID. Two more things when defining an expiry time. Uh, don't set it to be a long-lived token. I tried to set a uh, half a year and I got an authorization denied. Now I set it to five minutes. And what's next? Uh, this is a constant. Since I'm accessing the App Store Connect uh, version 1 API, uh, this is the audience that, that needs to be set. And the last is uh, an example of fetching all of the apps that are connected to the current Connect account. And uh, for example, when I call it, This is a big request response, but what's important is that it's a 200 OK, and this is a simple example what you can do with your App Store Connect API key, but what I mostly use it for is uh, for attaching to GitHub continuous integration, so I can automate the publishing uh, of IPA file that's created also through uh, the GitHub automation pipeline.